we play a little yeah. game of if you only knew. What are your two favorite roles to date? Remains of the Day, uh, Panama Electa, Nixon. Um, oh, there have been uh, several, and some I would rather forget. <laughs> but you, you know, you get a, a couple out of a dozen, which may work, and some don't. But uh, I think Lecter was one of my favorites because it was so easy. How did easy? Yeah, dead easy. Well, it's a trick, you know. What do you mean? Well, the, the, the first 15 or 20 minutes is built up describing this monster, you know, and to Jodie Foster. And then she goes to the prison and um, the governor of the prison said, she said, what's he like? Oh, he's a monster. So they go down. So it's all built up. There's this monster in a cell in the cage somewhere. So the thing is, do the opposite. Play not a monster. Just play someone who's, good morning. You're not really FBI, are you? Clarice. Clarice. <laughs> How did you find that voice, though? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> What's something people don't know about you? Oh, well, I can say that I'm always very insecure, as we all are. Oh, yeah, I do. People are surprised when they see me, young actors. They say, you're insecure? I say, yeah, you bet you. Your ass I am. So how can you be insecure? I said, well, that's being human. That's being alive. That's Henry it. Fonda said, I always feel nervous when I don't have a script. Yeah. Because you always want to be in work. Yeah. The leading lady you most enjoyed working with? Ba -boom, ba -ba -ba -boom. Oh, God, I can't remember. We put it <laughs> Jodie Foster. If you were an actor, what do you think you'd have done? Drunk myself to death, probably. <laughs> 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 Ended up in the gutter. Do you have a favorite curse word? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Something or my American favorite gesture? <laughs> what does something Americans get wrong about the UK? I think they think we are very ever so um, gentle and mild and moderate. We're not. We are monsters. The British Empire was run on monstrous energy and rage. And they were tough when tough they people. ran a country. They were very tough. tough. Yeah. Oh yeah. What does the UK get wrong about America? Oh, the the feeling that America is brash and it's noisy and this that. Yeah. Well, it is all those things, but that's what makes America what it is. And. Um, I think we, we countries, we nations, whether it's America or Britain, we get it wrong about so many other nations. <laughs> and whether Russia or the bad, you know, it's, we get it all so wrong. They're people. They're people, yeah. yeah. Actor or actress you'd like to work with that you haven't? I'd love to work with Din Riro. Um, yeah, I'd like to work with him. Any upcoming actor or actress that impresses you? Oh, God. Do you know, I don't, I don't watch much film. I'm you ashamed don't, to say no. You don't, I don't have time. I'm told you also don't have actors as friends. That's right. Why? Well, the, the actors, well, they're okay. I love working with them. But I'm a recluse. I don't have any friends, really. I'm, all my friends are my wife's friends, all these Spanish women. I get more from them than anything else. I'm, I'm not an unfriendly person. I enjoy people. But I, 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 I'm not a great mixer. I love being on my own. I love being a recluse. I, I'm not a recluse, but I, I love being on my own. You don't have great buddies? No. Never have. Don't go on fishing trips with no, the guys. God, no. <laughs> no. What's the best thing about living in L.A.? The sunshine. Um, Nate and Owls. <laughs> <laughs> I love to travel. I love to drive around. I love everything about it. What don't you like? I love everything. What's the most, your most cherished memory? Coming here in 1973, I was working on a film with Goldie Horn, and I was taken on the first Sunday to the Bel Air Hotel. I'd never been there before. I couldn't. I thought I was in Paris. And I thought I've got to stay. I've got to live here in this country, in the, in, in L.A. And um, those are my favourite memories. And the 70s, they were great. Things were a little more peaceful here then. And uh, everything about it, everything. It was like be, it was like being in, in Playland. It was like being in a big. Beach party. Were you an overnight hit? No, it took me years. Silence of the Lambs was the first time it really changed things. But then you know you got the Oscar and all that, but you wake up next morning, it's the same old fundamental stuff. Did you have to audition for Silence? No, Jonathan Demme um, phoned my agent and asked me if I would be interested in playing the part. I was in London at the time, and I thought it was a children's story, The Silence of the Lambs. So I said to my agent, I, they sent me the script. He said, what do you think? I said, well, I don't want to read all of it. And is it a deal? He said, well, not yet. I said, I'm not going to read anymore because I've read this part, is the great part. 
So he phoned me back. He said, it is a deal. Jonathan Demi's flying into London tomorrow to see you. We met. And I said, why did you cast me? He said, because I saw you in The Elephant Man, playing Dr. Treves. I said, but he was such a good man. He said, there's something in Lecter that is good, but basically mad. I thought, got it. Watch new episodes of Larry King Now, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, on demand on Aura TV and Hulu.